What's up, everybody? It's Fro Joe here. Jen like TA is again. I thought I'd just do a video for people who are emo or gothic. I know they're catching a lot of hell because of who they are and what they are. To me, I don't judge them for what they are and who they are. Because to me, they seem kind of cool with me, man. It's like, why well, you got nothing but pictures of emos? There's it's pictures of emos and emos and and goths in it so you know you might say well you got a picture of Sebastian I said well just to prove a point but uh I got a lot of I got a lot of respect for them because they go out there and show the world that they are different just like anybody else when you see somebody dressed as an emo or goth you're quick to just like a black person or an Asian person or Hispanic person or any other minority they just like everybody else but different because they some of it's like the guys dressed in black black hair makeup pale face black hair same with the emo poofy hair whatever to me they're people to me nothing emo women emo women and gothic women are very beautiful well you you attracted to fat ugly? No, 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 no. Not every emo, not every emo, or every gothic woman is fat. No, nothing. No, cause come in all shapes and sizes. But uh, like I said, man, I want to do this video to show respect to people who are emo and gothic, and that's how it is. And plus, I got a little sister. That is an email. This is my little sister, and I don't like. I still love my little sister. I'm a, I don't care that she's emo or goth, man. She's a human being just like everybody else. But like I said, man, I just wanted to do this to show the world that Afro Joe's got a lot of respect for, a lot of respect for people who are emo and gothic. Like I know there's a song by Rucka Rucka Ali called Emo just like a Nazi which I thought it was funny but I don't think I don't think emos or gothic people take take a, they take offense to it probably I don't know if they take offense to it or not and uh, like I said man I just wanted to give props to the people who go through life because go through like getting picked on because of who they are and what they are and one thing is, I show a lot of respect, especially to Sebastian. Everybody know who Sebastian is. Everybody, everybody know who Sebastian is. She does her own videos about being a being a gothic. And I give her a lot of respect. I give her a lot of respect for her because she does videos about being a goth. And there's other other goths that I sit there and I watch. I say, okay, I'm proud of these people. They actually put themselves out there on YouTube just to show everybody I'm different. If you if you're coming out to be like a goth or emo, this is what you need to do. Giving them tips, helping them out. If the people wanted to be a goth, and for the people that does videos for being emo, they do the same thing, just to help out people who want to become goth or emo. I give them mad respect, and I got a lot of love for them. I don't hate them. Back when I was a kid in, in middle school, man, I used to think, okay, why is this girl wearing a collar? I didn't understand what it was the emo or goth was back in middle school. But when I got older, I started to realize, I started to realize what what the meaning of goth is. I don't know, I don't know the whole thing about goth or e, uh, emos or goth, but I know one thing is that I show them mad respect though because of who they are. If people don't like them, don't look at them. That's all it is. But, like I said, man, I'm just trying to keep it real with my goth and emo brothers and sisters out there. Man, I did a video about the furries, but did not get a lot. I got some love, but not a lot of love on that video. And I'm trying to show, yo, I'm trying to say, yo, emo's goth. Emos or goth people. I hate to say people because I don't know if they like the term goth people. Same like when black people or white people. But I'm trying to tell them, say, yo, Afro Joe's got mad respect for you because you do this on a daily. This is your life. I don't hate. I don't discriminate.
discrimination against you. I just got mad respect for you. I got mad respect for you, and that's all I'm gonna give to them. Is mad respect and, and keeping it real with them. I'm not gonna talk all this darn talk down to them like, oh, you should talk down to them, Afro. For what? Not every emo, not every gothic person is gonna worship Satan. Some do, some don't. Like that's how it is. Some goth, some goth. Goth or emo people can be black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese, or Hispanic. Just don't know. It's not like always oh, a lifestyle. No, it could. I don't know what to call it. I can't say it's a lifestyle because one thing is it's just like saying white folk. It's like saying wiggers are a lifestyle. Well, I'll probably say wiggers. What's wiggers got to do? You know, white nigger. Uh, Wiggers, that's what we call white folks that want to be black so badly. They'll wear the baggy clothes, they'll wear the chains, they'll wear the hat. They sit there and listen to Snoop Dogg or hip hop or rap, trying to be black, even though they're white. So we, their term is called wigger. Same thing. That's a lifestyle. A wigger is a lifestyle. But to call an emo or a gothic person. I'll say, telling them that, oh, oh, that's a lifestyle. You don't know what it is. You can't pass judgment on emos or gothic people. But like I said, I just wanted to show a lot of respect to them. Because one thing is, man, if I live next door to a, a gothic or emo woman that's over the age of 21, I said woman. You, everybody's like, did he say woman? Oh, he wants a girl. No, no, no. Woman is different from girl. Get that shit straight. But if I was in the next door to an emo or gothic woman, I try to holler at her because there's no, I have no problem with hollering at an emo or gothic per, a goth, emo or gothic woman because I don't have a problem with it. Is it they are who they are? I don't call it a lifestyle. I think it's just people expressing themselves by showing the world who they are. And people shouldn't pass judgment on who they are. Plus, I wanted to show the world that I got mad respect for my little sister. Like I said, I showed y'all before my little sister. It's my little sister. I show mad respect for her because one thing is, she is what she is. And I'm not going to discriminate against her. But like I said, man, that's all I wanted to do, man, is show mad respect to all the emos and to all the gothic people out there in the world that Afro Joe the Wookiee's got mad respect and mad love for y'all do your thing man don't let nobody keep keep you down man rock out with your cock out as they say do what you want to do man live your life to the fullest man don't let them haters throw, throw a little song in your game that's all it is, man. Don't let no haters throw a song in your game. And I hope that I can get a bunch of, not, not to put them down, not to sound like, oh, oh, you want to subscribe? No, I just want to, I just want to get, just want to see what the emo community and the gothic community has to say about this video. You can do a video response. You can write comments on this video. Just show, hey, if you got emo and gothic friends, I hope you Take this link and send it out to all your friends to show, hey man, Afro Joe the Wookiee's got mad respect for y'all because y'all live this shit day by day by day and y'all still getting past judgment on it. Because one thing is, it's because of who you are as a person, a God's person or an evil person. You're still getting judged, but not by me. Because one thing is, I got mad respect for people like that. It's great to be different from other people. Because if we was all the same, it'd be boring. If we was all the same, we'd be boring. So I'm glad there's emos and gothic people out there in the world just to show we're different just like you. There's even emos and gothic people that are gay, straight, bisexual. Like I said, man, transsexual. But they're still who they are. And I don't hate. I keep surreal. Yay, yay. 
I still keep it real with my emos, brothers and sisters, and my gothic brothers and sisters. It just, I just can't hate on them. I just can't hate on them. I just got mad love for them, man. Because like I said, women who are emos, women, women, keyword is women, or woman, keywords. I think emo women, and emo, I mean emo women, and gothic women are just fine as fuck. Well. That's all I got to say about it. I think they find this for before I even go. Before I even go, I got to put this out there. Sebastian, I know you did a couple of videos about you drawing right. You say you go to art school and all this. I ain't trying to put you down to nothing, home girl, but I ain't never been to art college. I ain't never been to art college. I took four years of, four years of uh, art in high school. Like I said, I've never been to art college. Didn't need it. Because one thing is, you can be an artist no matter what, if you go to art school or not. But like I said, you keep doing your work and keep keeping up the good, keep up with the drawing. So I got to show you my work. My work. I'll show you one thing about my work. Find this video. I want to show Sebastian my work. Never took a never went to art school a day in my life see this right here never been to art school this is my work never been to an art school never been to art school so that's badass that I can bust my ass on drawing something like that I, sell, I taught myself how to draw shit like that and plus this picture self taught self-taught don't need art class don't need art class not put not to put you down Sebastian just keeping it real but like I said my, my little sister like I said I just want to give a bunch of respect to people who are emo people who are gothic the afro jokes got mad respect for y'all mad love for y'all and I hope I can get a lot of comments or some be a lot of video response because one thing is man y'all are people too just like anybody else but y'all live your life to a different beat to the drum and that's how it is man cause one thing is I can sit down with people pass judgment on these people oh y'all go watch y'all go watch Twilight y'all go watch Underworld they don't no 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 they're people just like me and you just because they dress that way doesn't mean they like everything like that some of them different, but they different from everybody else. You don't know what they like. And this is, and that's how it is on me. I hate people when they pass judgment on people are emo or gothic because they always catch hell for it and not, and you can't always blame a shooting on gothic people or emo people. Oh, did you see the emo shooter? No, they said it was a regular person with the school. It was in the military. How's that with emo? or a gothic person. Can't blame everything on emos and gothic people. This has been Afro Joe, 10 like a T, I motherfucking is. Keeping it real. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. So follow me on Tumblr. It's gonna be in the description box. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And holla at me, man, cause I keep it real. I'm gonna get a lot of comments from emos and a lot of comments from gothic people. Cause that's how it is. Cause I wanna see what I can see. See if they like this or not. I want to know what they, I know what I want to know what they got to say about this, about what I'm seeing. I'm not t trying to discriminate. I just want to know what they got to say. Peace, love, and Afro grace. <laughs>